Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Halloween and I am going to film just a get ready with me. Um, I'm not really dressing up tonight to take the kids trick or treating, but I thought that I would do some fun fall dark, uh, dark lip maybe, um, and just maybe a winged out eyeliner. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna use my NYX Dark Circle Concealer, just like normal. That's always my first step. And I do already have a moisturizer on and all of my serums and all of that good stuff. I keep trying a little bit of a different setup to see what works best. In here, I don't have an actual vanity table or anything like that set up, so I'm working with what I got right now. I'm taking this e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. Uh, it was $6 at Target. I'm trying to find a drugstore product that I like. It just is a really silicone-y, uh, kind of like the baby skin feel. I don't mind it. It's not my favorite. It gets the job done, I suppose. Fills in my pores and any fine lines I might have. Okay, and then for foundation today, I'm using my Revlon Colorstay in Fresh Beige. I've really been loving this foundation lately. It's more full coverage. Um, and that's typically what I prefer over a light coverage. Okay, that's good to start off with. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush to just buff this in. Okay. Now I just got this Fit Me Concealer, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Uh, it is in the shade Fair. This is by Maybelline. And this is supposed to be, um, I don't know if it's necessarily a dupe for NARS Creamy Concealer, but it is supposed to be similar, at least.
Okay. Well, I like it so far. It's got medium, light to medium coverage. I am going to use a, a little bit of my Age Rewind. Just to brighten up a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to take my Revlon uh, Bronze Glow bronzer and my Real Techniques contour brush. Just pat that in there, tap off the excess. I do also already have a lip balm on just to prepare my lips, make my lipstick look a little bit better. Next, we're going to set that with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. I got this the other day um, at Target. So far, I really like it. But I'm going to keep testing it out and see what I think. I'm going to use my uh, e.l.f. powder brush. And really make sure to set that under eye concealer as well. We don't want that moving anywhere. Okay, now I'm going to take my Milani Baked Brush, Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's really pretty peachy bronze color. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. Blush Brush. Pat that in there, pat, tap off the excess. Okay, next I'm going to take my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush and my Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl uh, Powder Palette. It's this really pretty highlight.
See how pretty that is? Mm. Don't be afraid of a little highlight, ladies. Love this. All right. Now that that is all done, I am going to go do my brows real fast and I will be back. Okay, I have done my brows. I also went ahead and uh, applied a highlight to the brow bone uh, and my Milani uh, eyeshadow primer. So now we can go ahead and get started with shadow. I'm not going to use a lot of shadow today because I'm just going to try and do uh, a black gel winged liner. Um, so I really want that to be the focal point, but I'm just going to kind of add some dimension to my eye before I go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take my Naked 3 palette and in the shade Limit, which is this one right here, I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. blending brush, and I really love this one for my transition color for the crease. Um, especially, it just blends out really nicely. So I'm gonna take this Limit color, tap off the excess, and just start windshield wiper motions. Now I'm going to take Strange, which is this really light colored one right here, and uh, just put that all over the lid. Then I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and blend that in. Blend those two colors together. Just so there's no harsh lines anywhere. Okay, we are done with that. <clears throat> um, now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in black. Really, really fantastic black liner. If you're looking for something for your tight line and waterline that's not going to move, it's going to stay put, but it's super super pigmented this is fantastic I've only been using it for a few days now but I really really like it now I'm going to take my Milani Bella Eyes in Bella White just to okay now I am by no means an expert on wing liner but what I have found makes a huge difference for me is using a gel liner. I got this NYX one the other day at Target. It's in the shade Jet Black. And uh, 
really easy to work with, much easier than a pen in my experience. And it stays really, really nicely. Um, I had my makeup on for almost 18 hours yesterday and my winged liner looked the same at the end of that 18 hours as it did when I put it on first thing in the morning. Just saying. Okay, now, my card was full, the battery is dying, so if we have to stop again, it ain't gonna be good. Okay, I went ahead and did one eye already. Um, the wing is not my favorite. It's not perfect. Um, but it'll do for today. So let's go ahead and do the other eye. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. I'm using my Benefit They're Real today. Okay, now that the makeup is done, I think I'm gonna do two um, lip looks today. Just, you know, just because. Uh, I'm gonna do a light one and then the dark vampy one. I'll do the L'Oreal um, Color Riche in Beyond Pink lip liner. It's a really nude color, more nude than pink I would say. And I'm going to use my Maybelline um, nude lipstick in Nude Lust. And then I'm just going to top that with Gerard Cosmetics Buttercream. just to get a little extra shine. Okay, so there's the first uh, lip look. And I will be right back because now my battery is about to die. Okay, and we're back. Um, I went ahead and put my hair down. And as you can see, lovely side effects of pregnancy would be that half of my naturally curly hair is curly and half of it is straight. Oh well. So again, this is the nude lips that I'm gonna go ahead and do. And we're gonna take that off and do a dark lip. I always feel like I get little pieces of the wipe left over on my lip. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with Jordana liner in Tawny. That's just mainly so that my uh, lip color won't feather out and seep out onto the rest of my face. I am going to use this OCC Lip Tar uh, it's a matte color, and the shade is Black Dahlia. I got this in my September Glossy Box, I think. I'm pretty sure. So there we have it. There is our second lip look. And I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. 
Have a very happy Halloween. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you're not and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.